Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So you probably see this effect in a lot of videos where you see a blurred background, then you see text on top. And if you're not familiar with what I mean, let me show you how that looks like. So let's go ahead and look at this video. So everything looks normal and then it blurs in the background, the text is on top, and then eventually it fades away and the blur goes away as well. I really think this is a neat effect and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this within Caden Live. And so the first thing I'm going to do is remove what I already have. And we're going to do this primarily with the title and also with keyframes. So I'm going to remove this title and I'm going to create a new one so you could kind of see how this looks like. And so the first thing you want to do is add a title. So I already have a title here but I'm going to create a new one. So we'll go ahead and add a title clip right here. And you can type in whatever you want. So I'm just going to do something really simple. So obviously you could change your font right here. You could do that. You could change the alignment of the text or do it manually. So if you want to see how that might look like on front of your background, just do show background. And that's kind of how it looked like once it appears. So if you're happy with that, just say OK. And now we have our text and we'll just drop this into our timeline. And right now, if we actually look at it, the text just appears, which is fine, but you know, it's kind of boring. So now we get into the next phase where we want to start setting up our blur effect. Now, before we do that, we actually want our text to fade in and out. So if you click right here, it'll create a white dissolve effect. And uh, with Caden Live, this new version is kind of an issue, so I have to adjust this. You might not have the same problem, but with me, I do. So what I normally do is just copy this same wipe dissolve effect because it's already the right length. And then I'll go here and revert that. So um, if your version of Caden Live, normally whenever you click at the end or even at the beginning, it'll create a dissolve effect that's the right size so for some reason I'm having issues there so if anybody's having the same issues that's how you would fix that so whenever you do that now you get a fade in text and then at the end it should fade out and that looks great a lot better than the pop in text that we had previously but now we want to add this whole blurred background effect and the way we're gonna do this with is first with the blur effect so if you actually go here to your tabs and you go to effects, it is under image adjustment, or you could just type in blur right here and it'll show all the different blur effects. Now, the one I use is just a simple blur right here. Just drop this down onto the clip that you want to blur and make sure it is the clip below your text. You want the text on top. So, if we go down here to the clip with the blur effect right now, nothing's happened because the amount of blur is very low. It's at 40. But if you increase that to say like See, 300 or actually 500 looks pretty blurry. So you around there. So you see now it's really blurry. But the problem is the entire clip is blurry, which is not really what we want. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap, where you could get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, Check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So this is where keyframes come in. And so what I typically like to do is I want to first make sure this blurry effect is down to zero. And so that whenever you start your video, everything's going to be clear. Your video underneath is not going to be blurred yet. But where I really want the blur to occur is whenever the text starts fading in like this. I want the image to start blurring as well. And then at the end, I want it to, you know, get clear again. Okay. So now we're going to do this through keyframes. And so we're going to come down here to our clip with the blur effect. And you'll notice we have this keyframe timeline right here. So if you are on where you want to be, just go ahead and add a keyframe. And for some reason, Caden Live doesn't put the keyframe exactly where you have it on your playhead right here. It should be right here. So the way I found to fix that is first I'm going to remove this keyframe. You could either move it through this timeline up here which makes it perfect or almost perfect. 
kind of gets you where you want to be. But if for some reason it's just not dropping where you want it to be, what you can do to make it exact is go to where you want the actual keyframe to go. And then what you would look at is you would look at this time, time code right here. So if we actually look at this right here, it's at whatever this is, 1 second 21. So here on your keyframes, you could go down to 121 by frame. So you could do it that way or you could adjust it up here. But everything really follows this keyframe up here. So it's probably better if you do it up here. So you could just kind of land it where you think it might be. And then you can adjust your keyframe. See? So now it's exactly at the position that you want to add the keyframe. So here, I'm going to add my first keyframe. So in this case, I still want it to be zero. And meaning everything's clear because the text hasn't even faded in yet. And so here's the important part. You want your text to fade in uh, first, and then you start blurring everything. Okay? So this is where it's important. So right now with this keyframe, you know, it's not exact. So I can move it here. But as I stated earlier, it's probably easier for you to use this right here. It goes frame by frame. So then it's exact. So this is where I actually want it to blur. So I would add a keyframe here. And then I would put this keyframe amount up to like whatever you want. I'm going to put 500. Okay. Or approximately that. And you see that? Now it shows this keyframe. I'm going to go in a little bit closer. So now you see this keyframe. So if you come back here, everything's clear. And then there it is. So it starts blurring in at the same time as your text. So by the time your text appears, you're blurred out the whole background. So now what you can do is do the same thing when it ends, except in reverse. So you would go here. And uh, once again, this doesn't follow the timeline that you have below. So I'm going to go here. Okay. So then I'm going to use this right here. So I want to add another keyframe here. And you still want it to be blurred. But what's important now, as I stated earlier, is the reverse. You want to go here. And so let me see. move this here to the end. And this is where I want to end the blur and I want it to get clear again. And so here you add another keyframe instead of this 501. Make it zero. So it'll gradually fade back in. So now we have everything here. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. And we'll go to the beginning or near the beginning of the video. And we'll press play. And if you notice, it starts fading in, blurring, and then it'll blur back and clear. See? So let's look at that one more time. So everything is clear, then it blurs, and then it'll get clear again near the end. So that's a really cool effect, and you can have a lot of fun with this. So this is very powerful, especially if you just want to add a little uh, cooler effect to your videos. And as you can see right here, by using keyframes and the variety of things you could do with you know many effects, not just blur, you can make your videos really cool. And this is one of my favorite effects. It adds a lot to your videos. And I always wondered how you did this, but now I've shown you here how you could do this within Caden Live. So if you actually had any thoughts on this effect or any other things that you want to see in Caden Live, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire Caden Live tutorial series, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey Geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.